He is known for being an Irish film director, screenwriter, novelist, and short story writer. He has won numerous awards including an Academy Award, two BAFTA Awards, a Golden Lion, and a Silver Bear. His name is Neil Patrick Jordan. In the realm of filmmaking, one name stands out as a legendary figure, Neil Patrick Jordan, an Irish director, screenwriter, novelist, and short story writer. Jordan's incredible talent has earned him numerous accolades, including an Academy Award, two BAFTA Awards, a Golden Lion, and a Silver Bear. His exceptional contributions to the world of cinema have cemented his status as one of the most revered figures in the industry. Jordan's filmography is filled with remarkable dramas that have captivated audiences worldwide. Films like, Mona Lisa, The Crying Game, Michael Collins, The Butcher Boy, and The End of the Affair, have showcased Jordan's unparalleled storytelling abilities and his keen eye for emotional depth. These critically acclaimed works have solidified his reputation as a master filmmaker who fearlessly explores complex themes and human experiences. But Neil Jordan's creative pursuits go beyond the realm of cinema. He has also made a name for himself as an author, with his novel, Night in Tunisia, receiving high praise. Notably, this literary masterpiece garnered the prestigious Somerset Maugham Award and the Guardian Fiction Prize in 1979. With his exceptional storytelling skills, both on the screen and on the page, Neil Patrick Jordan has left an indelible mark on the fields of filmmaking and literature. Neil Jordan's career began in the late 1970s when he joined the Irish television channel RT. He started by writing storylines for the children's fantasy series, Wanderly Wagon, showcasing his imaginative storytelling skills. In 1981, Jordan caught the attention of filmmaker John Borman, who recruited him as a creative associate during the filming of Excalibur in Ireland. This association led to Jordan's directorial debut, Angel, in 1982. The film, produced by Borman, depicted a musician caught up in the troubles, masterfully portrayed by Stephen Ray. This marked the beginning of a long-standing collaboration between Jordan and Ray. Throughout the 1980s, Jordan's career flourished as he directed acclaimed films like The Company of Wolves and Mona Lisa. The Company of Wolves, based on Angela Carter's dark reimagining of the Little Red Riding Hood fairy tale, became a cult favorite and showcased Jordan's ability to delve into complex and fantastical narratives. Jordan's storytelling prowess extended beyond specific genres. He explored diverse themes and subjects, often focusing on the experiences of children and young people. Films like The Miracle and The Butcher Boy demonstrated his ability to portray the unique perspectives and challenges faced by young protagonists. Despite achieving critical success, Jordan encountered setbacks when he ventured into Hollywood with films like High Spirits and Were No Angels, which were both met with disappointment. However, he returned to his roots with The Crying Game, a deeply personal film set in Ireland that garnered six Academy Award nominations and earned Jordan the coveted Best Original Screenplay Award. Jordan's career continued to evolve, and he directed films like Interview with the Vampire and The Brave One, showcasing his versatility and ability to tackle different genres. He also ventured into literary adaptations, collaborating with acclaimed authors such as Neil Gaiman for The Graveyard Book and creating atmospheric films like Byzantium. While Jordan's career experienced ups and downs, his distinctive storytelling style and ability to capture complex human experiences remained constant. His work demonstrated a deep understanding of characters and their emotional journeys, making him a highly regarded figure in the film industry. Do you want to explore more novelists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.